Welcome back to our farm. In this tutorial, I'll be guiding you on how to build the Song Sand 6 drawer chest from IKEA. For this assembly, you'll need a hammer, a flathead and a Phillips screwdriver, or a drill with the same bits, 5 16ths or a 1 8th drill bit, and a pencil. I'd also separate bags 1 and 2 from each other and put them into containers so you won't get things mixed up in the building process. So the first step is to grab these four wooden pieces and put them into this orientation. Then from bag 1, grab 10 wooden dowels and hammer them into these 5 holes. You'll be hammering the other 5 exactly in the same holes, just on the other side. It would look something like this. Next, put those 4 wooden pieces aside and grab yourself these 2 big panels. Put these 2 panels in this orientation. Just make sure these holes are facing outwards. Also, grab 10 corresponding drawer sliders that are marked L and R and 10 small screws that look like this. Then take the right corresponding drawer slider and place it on the left panel like this. Do the same for the other four. Then do the same with the left corresponding drawer sliders. Then grab those 10 small screws and secure them into these 10 holes. All of them are located above the wheel. Now grab 20 more screws and secure them into these 20 holes. Secure all the left and the right drawer sliders to the two big panels. Next, grab 10 of these screws and screw them into these 10 holes. Now grab the small wooden piece that you put aside. It has these two holes on the bottom and hammer in one scratch guard like this. Then attach this wooden piece to the right panel. Then grab two wooden dowels and this piece that you put aside which has the two holes on top. Hammer the two dowels into these two holes. Now attach the small wooden piece to the right panel like this. Then grab this wooden piece you put aside and attach it to the right panel. Next, grab three fasteners and secure them into these three holes. Now grab the last piece of wood you put aside and attach it like this. Then grab two fasteners and secure them into these two holes. Now grab two of these screws and this metal support bar. You'll be placing the support bar like this and secure it with these two screws. Next, grab the left panel and flip it over to attach it to the structure. The send will meet with this end. Then grab five fasteners and secure them into these five holes. Now flip the structure onto its front side. Grab these two screws and secure the metal bar to the structure. Now grab two wooden dowels and a small panel that looks like this. Hammer the two dowels into these two holes. Put this panel in this orientation and with the last pair of drawer sliders from the set, place the right drawer slider like this and secure it using these three small screws.
flip the panel over and attach the left drawer slider using these three screws as well. Now put that panel aside and grab this top panel. Put it in this orientation and screw in six screws into these six holes. Then attach both panels like this. Make sure these two big holes are facing the left side. Now grab two fasteners and secure the two panels together. The fasteners will go in these two holes. Then grab the wall hardware. Next, grab a bracket, a washer, and a screw and attach it like this. Do the same for the other bracket on the other side. Then go to the top of the structure and grab four wooden dowels. Hammer them into these four holes. Now attach the top to the rest of the structure like this. Make sure this indentation is facing down. Then grab four fasteners and secure them into these four holes. Next, grab the back panel and put it in this orientation. The two cutouts will be facing the top. Then slide it in all the way. Now grab four pairs of these plastic clips and secure them into these four holes. It'll look something like this. Then grab four scratch guards and hammer them into these four places. Now flip the chest onto its feet and make the back face you. You may need another person to help you with this step. Grab 12 pairs of the plastic clips. You'll be using them to secure the backing. First, insert 12 of these plastic clips in all 12 holes. Then secure the backing with these 12 corresponding plastic pins. Now place this structure wherever you intend to use it. It should be close to a wall. Using your pencil, make a mark on the wall for each bracket. Move the chest over and drill two holes where you marked it with your pencil. As you can see, this is just a demonstration. Then hammer two plastic anchors into these two holes you just made. Then unscrew this screw for each bracket. You'll now be able to adjust the depth of the bracket. Then attach the bracket to the wall using a washer and the wall screw that IKEA gives you. Do the same for the other bracket. Then now tighten both brackets to make it a fully secured chest. Now let's focus on the top left drawer. Grab two side drawer pieces and put them in this orientation. One of them should have the warning label and hammer four wooden dowels into these four holes. Now with the front drawer piece, you'll notice there's a difference of where the holes are located. Make sure you grab this front piece. Put the other front piece to the side and grab yourself four of these screws. Screw them into these four holes. Now attach the side pieces like this.
Then use four fasteners and secure them into these four holes. Now grab the bottom piece of the drawer and insert it like this. The white color should be facing the inside of the drawer. Next, grab the back piece and place it in like this. Then insert four plastic pins. Secure the pins using these four fasteners. Then flip the drawer over and grab two corresponding drawer sliders and six small screws. Grab the drawer slider that has the letters DL on it and place it on the left side of the drawer like this. Secure the drawer slider to the drawer using three screws. Now do the same for the right side. This time the drawer slider will be marked DR. Then grab the handle and two screws. Secure the two screws into place. Then insert the drawer into the top left corner. It should fit in nicely. You'll now need to repeat the same steps for the other small drawer. After you finish assembling the small drawer, put it in. Now for the four big drawers, the steps are pretty much the same. Grab four wooden dowels and these two side pieces. Hammer the dowels into these four holes. Then grab the front piece and four of these screws. Screw them into these four holes. It doesn't matter which front piece you use for the bigger drawers. Now attach the two side pieces to the front piece like this. Secure everything using these four fasteners. They go into these four holes. Then insert the bottom panel like this. Now grab the back panel and place it in a shell. Next grab four plastic pins and put them into these four holes. Then use four fasteners and secure them into these four holes. Flip the drawer over and grab yourself two corresponding drawer sliders and six screws. Grab the drawer slider that is marked with the letters DL and attach it to the left side of the drawer like this. Use the three small screws to secure everything together. Then go to the right side and do the same. This time you'll be using the drawer slider that is marked with the letters DR. Now attach the handle using these two screws. Repeat these steps for the big drawers three more times, but don't put the big drawers in after you've assembled all of them. You'll need to grab this screw and screw it into this hole. Now you can put the big drawers in.
Everything should open and close smoothly. You should now have a complete Song Sans 6 drawer chest from Ikea. Hopefully this tutorial helped you out.